and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm doing a video on the top five tech products that you can buy that are over $1,000. I've done all kinds of crazy tech buyer's guides in the past, all the way down to $1, but I thought, why not jump to the other extreme and talk about tech over $1,000. Now, there are some very simple tech you can get here, like you can build yourself a gaming PC, but I'm not interested in anything like that. I'm talking about complete products that you can get that are kind of outside the box. So, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's go ahead and get on into it. But first, though, this video is brought to you by our own merchandise store, shop.thebreakdown.xyz. That is the first link in the description down below. You're going to find tons of awesome t-shirt designs over there on everything from Hackintoshes to PC gaming to even just general tech and really cool designs. I think you'll like it. Go check it out. First link in the description down below. First up on our list here, though, we've got the Sojourner Mechanical Keyboard. Yeah, it's a mechanical keyboard that comes in at $999.95, the five cents that really gets you. But when you add in shipping cost of 15 bucks, you're looking at $1,014 to get this awesome keyboard shipped to your door. Is it awesome though? If anything on this list is a waste of money, it's probably this. It's a, a cool keyboard, sure. It's got a typewriter style look and keys. It's also handcrafted out of aged bronze, but I'm, I'm not I'm not picking it up. I'm really not. I don't see the appeal on this keyboard other than just a novelty. And it's a really expensive novelty at that. They have kind of went above me on with the switches, though they are Cherry MX Blues, so at least we know it's going to be high quality mechanical switches in there, but overall, I don't know if this is my style, but you're paying for a handcrafted product here. This is custom made, handcrafted, with high quality switches. So, if you like the steampunk look, which is what they're trying to go with with this, by the way, a steampunk kind of look there, if you're okay with that and that's what you're looking to do, like do a steampunk setup, this may be right up your alley, but uh, I thought it was cool to find a keyboard over a thousand bucks. It's kind of hard to do, actually. So, yeah, I wanted to include it on this list. And you can check out this and all the products that I mentioned in this video linked down below as well. So, if you want to check them out for yourselves, maybe buy one that uh, you got that option to do it. Moving on to number two here, though, I don't think this one is a waste of money at all. It's the Droian, I hope that's how you say it, Ergonomic Gaming Chair Workstation. They call it an Ergonomic Computer Workstation, and that's what we'll go with here. It's much more than a gaming setup, and it really is. It comes in at $5,800, but man, oh man, this thing is pretty cool. It holds two 27-inch monitors, and it's ergonomically designed for a neutral, comfortable body position, similar, actually, to what NASA puts in their flipping spaceships. Now that is pretty cool. When you're getting your work done in a space chair, just like Buzz Aldrin did, that is freaking awesome. It's also got an integrated keyboard tray, so you can put your keyboard on that, and it's got a place for your mouse, so it's integrated keyboard tray with an armrest that you use your mouse on. It also has, and get this, a leather ventilated seat with both heated and cooled options. What? This is, you're supposed to get work done in this thing? If I had heated and cold seats at my desk, I would just be sitting there relaxing asleep. I wouldn't be getting any work done. But nevertheless, that's the kind of thing you would expect in a luxury car these days. Why wouldn't you expect it in a luxury desk and office chair? Overall though, this thing is crazy. And what I've mentioned here is actually just scratching the surface of all the stuff that this chair, this like office workstation desk combo can do. Minus the fact it would look a little weird if you Replace this and just put this in your cubicle at the office or something. Could you imagine that? Just walking in there and... What's this thing Jimmy's got? But nonetheless, it's still an awesome setup and it's still an awesome workstation. So uh, go check it out. Moving on to number three here. We have the Carnot. I hope that's how you say it. QC1 Cryptocurrency Mining Heater. Yeah, it's a heater that mines cryptocurrency. It's passively cooled and heats up your room via the GPUs that are mining cryptocurrency. Pretty cool concept and pretty cool idea, and that's why I wanted to mention it here. It comes in at $3,382.42 plus shipping, and it doesn't feature too good of GPUs. There are much better GPUs than this. 
to mine cryptocurrency with, but it comes with two AMD Nitro Plus Radeon RX 588 gigabyte graphics cards, so nothing crazy there, but it's not gonna make you a ton of money mining cryptocurrency, but what it can do is be a cool looking, beautiful piece in your home, like this is actually a really, really good design, and make you a little bit of pocket change in the side. However, if you're looking to mine cryptocurrency, there's much better ways to do it than buying this thing. However, it's still, like I said, pretty freaking cool, so I wanted to mention it. Also, it's plug and play, so it, they tout that in 10 minutes after you get this thing out of the box, you'll have it plugged in and mining cryptocurrency and heating your room. However, if you live in Florida in the middle of the summer, this probably isn't the best thing for you. Just get a mining rig and put it in a closet with some ventilation and that's probably going to serve you better. But anyway, I thought it was cool nonetheless. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below, but we're not done yet. We still got two more things to go over. First off is the MakerBot Replicator 3D Printer Plus. If you want a 3D printer, MakerBot makes some of the best ones out there, and they're affordable in regards to 3D printers. This one is their like super pro consumer model here. It's a high-end model. It's gonna give you high quality features, but it's still only $2,499. Now sure, that's quite a bit of money, but this is, like I said, their high-end prosumer model, and it's gonna work with tons of different filaments out there. There's tons of different files for it because it's a MakerBot. It's also got super fast printing and a full LCD color screen directly on it. All wireless setup if you want it to be, so awesome stuff here. If I was gonna buy a 3D printer, this is the one I would buy. And if there's anything actually I want to buy right now, it's a 3D printer, oddly enough. And uh, I've been having my eyes on this one and I really, really like it. But uh, yeah, I wanted to mention it on this list because if there's cool tech over a thousand bucks, you've got to have a 3D printer on that list. Last but definitely not least on our list here is the 412 in one coffee table, cocktail table, whatever you want to call it, arcade system. Yeah, this thing has a full display in it with joysticks and buttons on both ends of the table for you to be able to play arcade games. And it comes with 412 games already loaded on it. I'm gonna mention a few here, but they're all linked in the description down below. He's got them all listed there. No way I'm gonna go over them all in this video, but it's got Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Frogger, Tetris, and again, a lot more. Over 400 more games, actually, than what I just mentioned. Cubert's on there. There's tons of awesome games. So if you're looking for something like that, it's pretty cool. The price on this thing, however, is $1,079.10, making it pretty affordable in regards to everything else on this list, but you are gonna have to pay anywhere between $100 to $300 for shipping. So even for $1,179, this thing is a great deal in my opinion. If you want like a cool coffee table that when you have friends over, they can pull up a chair and play you in Pac-Man or Tetris. So awesome stuff there and something I would definitely recommend if you're looking for some high-end furniture that also would look cool in a man cave or in a bachelor pad or something like that. This definitely checks all of those boxes. Plus, it's handmade, so if you want to do something custom on it, you don't like the color or something like that, you can do that without any problems because it's handmade. It's just gonna cost you a little more money. That's it. Nevertheless, guys, there are five awesome tech products over $1,000. What did I miss? Because I'm sure I did. Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you would like to see any more of these tech buyer guides in a price range. I'll be more than happy to do them. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm out, guys. Peace.